Alright, Shalom. This is the brother Atazawamia from GMS South Carolina Camp. I want to first and foremost give all praises to Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and sincerity. Alright, this is another uh, lesson about uh, proving that the tribe of Gad is the North American Indians. Alright, that they are. Uh, that they are part of the children of Israel, all right, because the scriptures say this, all right. Let me get that real quick. Like I, well, you, the reason why I'm going through this to make it plain one, you know, because you got new brothers coming in that probably want to, you know, have scriptures on deck to prove it when you have certain tribes come up, but um, it's 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 this false doctrine that keep that's uh, resurfacing, all right. That's probably gonna come back to the uh, front, uh, you know, back into light, all right, because you know. It, it usually be like that you have false prophets try to resurface coming with some new so-called new doctrine or whatever really is something that's already been exposed or chopped up but due to YouTube constantly removing videos or whatnot you have people that um that never seen this talking about our people which are the children of Israel which are the so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans descent okay so this is just a short video I had to shut down all those lies because you got false prophets out there uh, called uh, Elder Young One alright which I call him Elder Young One the dumb one he tried to say that the Native Americans are not Israelites uh, you got this guy Tezakiel that's teaching that uh, the madness that all the tribes are black or are of African descent okay and that uh, the tribe of Gad is the Zulu, which is madness. Okay, all right. So I'm here to set the record straight, cause you know I dealt this that agent false prophet before, and he been thoroughly exposed. But you know, you gotta prove your point. Okay, using facts and 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 the scriptures. Okay, so this is basically for younger brothers coming in. All right, and it's for uh you know. For edification for brothers that probably don't have this information or you know just brushing up on scriptures and facts whatnot okay so I'm gonna start at um Romans 8 and 16 it says the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God okay now with the spirit is speaking about these scriptures the prophecy okay a bear witness with our spirit who's the R the R is the children of Israel okay those that fit the prophecies which will be located in the scriptures that we are the children of God alright first Thessalonians 5 and 21 okay it says prove all things hold fast to that which is good okay so I'm gonna prove alright the fact that the Native Americans their dress I uh, how they was dressing meaning their outfits or their attire that they wore with the fringes with the border of blue and the fringes that that was only the dress code of the Israelites and that the heathens they didn't or the other nations didn't have that Alright, so first let me go to these images and then I'm going to come back to the scriptures. Okay, alright. Now these are certain, these are a uh, few images that uh, I, I looked up on Google. Okay, now this is a, a, a Native Americans women beaded dress. Okay, notice that on the shoulders you got the ribbon of blue. 
the border of blue and then the fringes okay the fringes all right same thing at the bottom all right okay this is a old picture all right also to prove that you had you had Native Americans that were as dark or that could pass for Negroes okay all right notice his his garment all right it's in black or brown you know but if they had it in color but notice that he has fringes on his garment okay here's another uh, picture of of an uh, Native American clothing okay of the Sioux all right which is our which are the plain Indians notice the fringes on the borders okay all right notice once again he has the border of blue and the fringes all right all right same another picture all right of a gadite all right because the North American Indians are the tribe of Gad they're not heathens all right notice the garment with the fringes here's another one this is a woman okay she got the border of blue in the fringes okay at the border of her garments and this this is bad right here yeah with the fringes and the border of blue now you notice I keep mentioning the fringes in the border of blue all right now let's go to the scriptures and we'll come back to those images all right this is in numbers chapter 15 verse 32 okay it says and while the children of Israel were in the wilderness all right this is during a time when we were uh children of Israel was delivered from the captivity of Egypt and they were moving towards going to the promised land okay so this is numbers chapter 15 verse 32 and while the children of Israel were in the wilderness they found a man that gathered sticks upon the Sabbath day and they that found him gathering sticks brought him unto Moses and Aaron and unto all the congregation and they put him in ward because it was not declared what should be done to him and the Lord which the Lord's name is Yahweh okay it's a book called the the, the history of the American Indians and in, in that book James Adair uh, he he wrote that the Native Americans, all right, had called the Heavenly Father. Uh, it was close to Yahweh, okay, but due to years of not, you know, keeping up the language, they called him Yohiwa, all right, which is similar to Yahweh, okay. Okay, so that's when you see the word, the, the uh, when you look in, look up this word in the Hebrew for Lord. It's Yahweh in the in the Lashwan Kodash, which is the holy tongue, the ancient Hebrew. It says, And the Lord said unto Moses, The man shall surely be put to death. All the congregation shall stone him with stones without the camp. And all the congregation brought him without the camp and stoned him with stones, and he died, as the Lord commanded Moses, because you ain't supposed to work on the Sabbath day. Okay? So this man he received judgment. Now because of him breaking this breaking that commandment okay the Lord gave Israel this custom of dress okay numbers 35 and uh, excuse me numbers chapter 15 verse 37 it says the Lord spake unto Moses saying speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations and that they put upon the fringes or the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue and it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and to do them and that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes after which ye used to go a whoring that ye may remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your power I am the Lord your power which brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your power I am the Lord your God okay and that's what this is the fringes with the border of blue another uh, Native American in dress a so-called Native American which is the tribe of Gad okay alright 
and I, you know, you see it right there, the border of blue, and then the fringes. And those fringes that we wore, which I think we eventually lost the understanding of why we wore the fringes, but the fringes were for us to remember the law, statutes, and commandments, all right? And that it was a sign, you know, this is a sign that we're Israel because only Israel was given the commandment to wear a certain dress like this, you know, clothing to dress up like this, okay? All right. All right, the fringes on the border, okay? Once again, the fringes. The border of blue and the fringes. All right, fringes. All right, older picture. All right, and once again, the ribbon of blue and the fringes. Okay, so you know, it, if you can't see it, that the 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 Native Americans, the so-called Native Americans, which is the tribe of Gad, that they're uh, if you can't see that, you know, that this is that they're part of Israel, Israel, that they are the part of the lost tribes of Israel, then it's not for you, all right. But it should be made plain because, like we get, I'm gonna read it again. Numbers chapter 15 verse 37 And the Lord spake unto Moses saying Speak unto the children of Israel And bid them that they make them fringes And the border of their garments Throughout their generations And that's what you see right here With these images Alright Alright And that they put upon the fringe Of the gar of uh, The fringe of border a blue borders a ribbon of blue and it shall be unto you for a fringe and that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them that ye seek not after your own heart or your own eyes after which ye used to go a whoring that ye may remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your power I am the Lord your power which brought thee out, brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your power I am the Lord your God okay all right, so that's why uh, the tribe of Gad. All right, and you also had, um, I think Issachar. They on the ponchos they wear the uh, fringes, but that'll have to be another lesson, okay? Because you know this series right here is geared towards Gad because you know you still got, like I said, you still got scoffers, agents, and false prophets out there that does not want to accept the fact that the Native Americans are uh, Israelites okay but this our dress uh, is one way of proving that we're Israelites because no other nation on the earth was given that command to wear fringes in the border of their garments nor to have the ribbon of blue which you, if you look hard enough the uh, young man has it on his garment so you know this is a quick lesson alright you no know, so with that I want to say all praises to Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Taught me this truth. Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth. Alright, Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Barak to the, the Akim pushing the truth. Alright. Deft to uh, Esau, the so-called white man. And, and these false prophets. And two-thirds that reject the word of the Lord. And the heathen. And I'm the brother Atazawamia from GMS South Carolina camp saying Shalom. Perfect.